What's going to happen in China is, yes, there has been a slowdown of some kind. It isn't going to be stopping anytime soon. They'll make sure that happens. What there is, however, is much more attention now being paid to India. The developments and reforms actually put forward by Modi and the Modi authorities, can they actually get them through? That will start attracting more attention. So the oil story, the reform story, will all mean that actually I think India is going to be attracting more interest overall. Well, it is anyway. The question is, can it as track start getting more fund money coming through? And certainly in our discussions, it's one of the key areas that we'll be looking at for 2015. In a normal world, when you're actually looking at the current economic situation, you'd be saying it's got to be a rate rise pretty soon, surely. But we're not in a normal world. We're in a world where America's come out of QE, but is still living with the overhang of QE. What is the effect of it? And the truth is we don't really know what that's going to be for another decade, I suspect. So one thing they're not going to be doing is taking any rush. So Janet Yellen, I suspect, is going to be thinking back to 1936 when they started putting rates up quite quickly after the Depression, and the result was the entire economy went straight back into recession again. So she would be much more pragmatic, as, as will the authorities, so they won't be rushing this decision. There's no need to. They'll be looking two years ahead and saying, is there any inflationary pressure? Normally you'd say yes, but in these circumstances, no. So I suspect the answer for the time being is going to be no. So our timeline is actually looking much later towards the latter part of next year before we see that rate rise. But if facts change, we may have to change. If we work on the assumption that actually lower rates were good for equities, then higher rates will have the opposite effect. But remember, companies are in pretty good shape, and you always have to separate out actually what an economy is doing and what companies are doing. And looking at corporate America at the moment, they're looking in quite good shape. Mind you, some of it's priced at that level as well. So rising rates aren't so good for corporations overall. But if you're willing to take a longer term view, and particularly in terms of the returns you get with your dividends and compounding those, then necessarily you probably don't want to be too underweight in America. America is still going to be growing. But rising rates do impact on corporate returns.